About 20,000 car lovers have turned out in Brisbane today for one of the country's biggest motor festivals. And as Jonathan Lee reports, families and fans were given a rare glimpse into our automotive past. Motor racing is famous for two things, cars that evoke emotion and the personalities that drive them. Here at home, there are a few names more synonymous with motorsport than Alan Moffat. I've never seen one this big. The, in Melbourne, they have them. They might get two or three hundred cars at a time. Seven hundred cars here today. The old, the bold, the few and the new. Filling Eagle Farm race course with a different kind of horsepower. It's uh, the only motor event now in Queensland um, after the, the demise of the motor show. Event insurance and rising living costs means these cars are a luxury even fewer can afford. On Club Rego, concessional Rego, you can only take it out to club events. Otherwise, you've got to be on full Rego, and the price of that's too expensive. Each of these tells a story, rarely bettered by its owners. I died of a heart attack 18 months ago. When I got over it, I said I've got to get it going if it's the last thing I do. I look at some of these cars and think, oh, I remember when they were new. <laughs> <laughs> this year, the charity event celebrated 100 years of Maserati and a half century of the Ford Mustang. It's not easy to get in or out of, but of all the cars here, few have the racing pedigree of Alan Moffat's 1969 Trans Am Mustang. From 151 starts, it had 101 victories. It is the ultimate when it comes to a driver's machine. I always sold the race cars I had to get into the next best thing. And in the end, I landed up with nothing. <laughs> but memories of the past. Jonathan Lee, 10 Eyewitness News.